officially 2020 been 2020 for three weeks now more or less um i had done this video before as an end to my um vlogmas vidmas vid uh, series for december but i did not finish that series like i had anticipated anticipated so i decided to refilm this um and let you guys know what's been going on or why i didn't finish that series so I started really well with my Vidmas Vlogmas series in December and I got through I think seven of them. I was only going to do 12. Yeah, 12 days. Um, and then we went away for Christmas to Utah to visit my in-laws and that completely derailed me. Um, I had planned on pre-filming some things and I didn't get around. I didn't get a chance to do those and then I planned on of course filming some of our trip to Utah and also didn't get around to that. It's kind of hard to film when there's a lot of people around and I'm just, even though it's my family, I'm just not comfortable filming around them quite yet. So being a vlogger, I don't know that that's my thing. I can film in my room in the sanctuaries of my own confines, but to do it out in public, um, I'm not quite there yet. So at any rate, I was not able to finish the 12 days of Vidmas Vlogmas. The video that I was going to use to finalize it was my looking forward video into what I would like to do in 2020 and how I would like my channel to progress in 2020, hopefully. And so um, I couldn't do that because it tied into the whole Vlogmas thing. So here I am, long story short, <laughs> refilming the... Um, my prospectus, I guess, my future plans, what I would love to do, how I would love to move forward with my channel. So the first thing is, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Maggie. Um, I think I said that already, but I've had my channel for about two years now, but I really haven't done a whole heck of a lot with it. Kind of uh, stop and go and stop and go and stop and go. So hopefully that'll be changing this year. One of the things that I would like to do is more process videos. Um, I'm not going to call them tutorials because the likelihood of me sitting there explaining all these things that are the steps to it, um, one I think is pretty self-explanatory most of the time. And two, I don't know. I'm, I'm not that type of a teacher. Now, if somebody asks me specifically for a tutorial on something I did or an explanation, I will be more than happy to give it to you. Um, but generally speaking, how my videos go is I just do the work and let you guys watch it with a little background music in the back. I do some pre-explanation at the beginning, so that's not going to change. But what I would like to do is more process videos, more junk journal entries, more art journal entries, more plan with me's, both monthly and uh, weekly plan with me's, as well as memory keeping, um, and then more process videos of actual crafts and craft swaps that I do and anything kind of crafty in that area. Um, so that's what I mean when I say process videos. And it'll all tie in to something that I'm doing. I participated in quite a few swaps I'm in like two, two or th I'm in three major uh, swap and exchange groups. And so usually I do crafts and projects for those groups. Um, the other thing is I'm going to be, and I'm again a little delayed here. So I will probably be putting out like three or four videos right in a row on this particular series. But it's the 52 weeks of Christmas. So every week, and I'm hoping to post it on Saturdays. I will be um, posting a new video 
lead of Christmas crafts. Now it's going to, I'm trying to keep all the videos short and sweet and concise. And that includes my plan with me's and every other video. I like to keep them from 10 minutes or less. Um, and so a lot, that's why I call them process videos because a lot of times I'll just speed it up. <laughs> so even though I'm posting a lot, It'll seem like I'm posting a lot. They'll be really, hopefully, short. Like I said, I try to keep them from 10 minutes or less. There's a few videos that might be more than that, but really, I try to, like, really cut all the, the fat off of them. So, 52 Weeks of Christmas. I will also am trying to do a Tip Tuesday or a Tip Thursday kind of thing where I just come in really quick, two minutes, and give you a quick tip as to... Uh, something I learned doing a process of some sorts. Now, those won't be as regularly posted because I may not have a tip every week. So, uh, but that's going to be another one of my series. Uh, one Small Step is another series. Um, I focus in on an area in my craft room or my craft, you know, bin or something like that and go through and organize it and de-stash it and get rid of it or whatever the case is. And the, the key is to show you guys how to, because my room, my craft, it, my craft room is a mess. So let me, let me start off by saying that it's not that it's organized and I'm going to show you guys how I keep it organized, but rather how we're going to start keeping it together organized. Um, and I do, a 10 minute tidies pretty regularly throughout my house, which is how I keep my house sort of neat. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend that I'm some kind of a like neat freak or anything like, cause I'm not, but I do try to do 10 minute tidies fairly regularly and not throughout the house. This, that's not counting like the actual dip, deep cleanings that I do. Um, but my craft room seems to be lacking in that department. So by doing the one, the small step weekly, um, I'm going to focus in on one thing or one area or one bin or whatever and go through it and organize it and clean it and then keep you guys updated on how I keep it organized and clean. You know, make sure that I become accountable to you guys after I've cleaned it all up. Um, and then the other thing is hopefully I will be able to do more frequent and regular uploads. My goal is to do three uploads a week, minimum, maybe more, but minimum three. Um, of course, for sure, one of them is going to be a plan with me because I do those just, I do plan with me every week. I plan my week out just about every week. And as I get more into social media and get in more into that aspect of it, I'm really going to have to stay on top of all the planning. So for sure, I'll have a plan with me just about every week if I remember to film it. Sometimes I don't remember to film it. Um, and the other goal for my channel this year would be three new or 300, 300 new subscribers. So please, if you are watching this um, and you want to see me move forward, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video. Um, these are just some really quick things of what I see myself uh, moving towards in 2020. There's going to be lots of other things that I would like to do. Um, but as I come up with those ideas or as, as I implement them, I will let you guys know. I don't often come in front of the camera. So if you guys like seeing me, <laughs> let me know. I I'm kind of, eh about it it's kind of weird for me to see myself um but yeah um and with that being said thanks for watching thanks for giving me all the thumbs up the comments in 2019 and i'll see you guys for the rest of the year bye